Okay na po, ma'am. Start ko na po. Yes, ma'am. Please. Okay po. So, good morning po sa lahat. Good morning, everyone. My uh, lesson for this morning is nature, scope, and significance of agronomy in the Philippines. In short po is uh, an introduction about agronomy as part of agriculture in the Philippines. Okay po. So, uh, before I start my lesson po, um, uh, for those who don't know me po, I am Kenzie M. Ancheta po, your presenter for this morning. And I will be very careful po not to, not to cross other uh, lesson. And if meron po kayong additional information regarding my lesson, um, feel free po to add your ideas. And po. Okay po, so let's start. Okay lang po ba yung audio ko, ma'am ma and sir? Yes, ma'am. Okay po. Thank you po, ma'am. So, I will be discussing three major points. First is the nature of agronomy. Second, scope of agronomy. And the significance of agronomy agriculture in the Philippines. Ayan po. So, first, let's proceed with nature of agronomy. So, what is agronomy? Agronomy is derived from the Greek word agros, meaning field, and nomos, meaning management. So in short, agronomy is managing a field or field management. Next, agronomy is the application of science and technology from the fields of biology, chemistry, economics, ecology, soil science, water science, pest management, and genetics to the improvement and management of the major food crops of the world. So this introduction po will uh, tackle agronomy as part of agriculture in the Philippines. In short po, a short explanation of agronomy. Agronomy, it is a, a branch of agriculture which focused on the study of plants, and soils and their environment. And we can uh, call agronomy as the science of agriculture. Later on, I will be discussing po the difference between agronomy and agriculture. Agronomy is just part of agriculture and agronomy po is more on our research and development po ng mga practices, ng methods of cultivating, um, producing uh, food crops, producing other products using uh, the crops from agriculture. Ganun po siya. So, it's all about uh, managing the field. Po. Hindi lang po siya focus only on planting and cultivating, but also in producing products po like yung mga kinakain po natin, food supplies, uh, fuel, and other products. So later on po, meron ako mga examples po nun. I hope clear po tayo sa definition of uh, agronomy. So far, may question po ba regarding po sa definition of agronomy? No, so, okay po. So let's proceed po. Next is we have agronomic crops. So agronomic crops are those that occupy large acreage and are the basis of the world's food and fiber production system, often mechanized. So agronomic crops, we also call them as field crops. Kasi nga po, the agronomy, di ba, ang ibig sabihin is field management. So the products of agronomy are the agronomic crops or the field crops. So, ano po ba yung mga crops na to? Anong pinagkaiba niya sa uh, agricultural crops na mas common na alam natin? So, ang field crops po typically consists of yung mga majority po na pinoproduce ng isang country. Dito po sa atin, sa Philippines, 
mostly ang uh, pinoproduce po na crops is we have the rice and the corn. Ito lang po yung two major but marami po tayong uh, majority of the country na pinoproduce na crops like uh, sugar cane pero ang majority lang po natin is the rice and corn. So tinatawag po natin silang agronomic crops. And next po, of course, we have agronomist. And our plant and soil experts and soil scientists who develop innovative farm practices and technologies to boost crop yields, improve farm profitability and sustainability, and protect the environment, of course. Ang agronomist po, if in agriculture we have farmers, in agronomy, we have agronomies. Yan. So sila po yung in charge sa research, studies, development. Kung example nga po, tulad ng sabi ko kanina, as I've mentioned earlier po na, they are assigned to conduct researches, development, innovations about the practices sa pag-increase po ng uh, crop production, kung paano mas mapapadami, ano po yung mga needed na fertilizer, herbicides. So sila po yung in charge doon. And of course, they are conducting researches and development without harming our environment or without poisoning the land. Mga ganun po yun. So more on self-explanatory lang din naman po yung report ko since it's just an introduction. Okay po, so let us now define or differentiate agriculture from agronomy. So ano po ba yung difference between the two? Agriculture is defined as the art and science of cultivating land, rearing animals. Ayan po. So ang agriculture po is cultivating land, Ayan, rearing animals and management of livestock. So yan po ang focus niya. While agronomy is the science of utilizing these plants, animals to produce other products po like food natin, fuel, and fiber. So yan po yung pinagkaiba niya. Agronomy is a part of agriculture. Kumbaga po is, ito po yung uh, sa country, ito po ang Philippines and ang agronomy is just a part like Luzon or Visayas or Mindanao. Parang ganun lang po siya. A branch, parang a branch of, of agriculture. Ayan po. So, sa hopefully clear po yun, no? Ang agriculture is mainly focus only on cultivating the land, but uh, more on livestock. Yan po. And sa agronomy, also cultivating and rearing animals, management of livestock, but meron po siyang other role, which is to produce products from these um, from these crops po na napoproduce. So yun po ang difference between the two. Next po is Ayan, so we are done with the nature of agronomy, a short introduction niya po. Let's now proceed with the scope and later on the significance. Ayan. So scope po. First is identification of proper season for cultivation. Ayan. And dito naman po, the scope of agronomy, ito po yung mga role, di ba? Pwede rin po natin masabi na role ng agronomy sa agriculture in the Philippines. So first is the identification of proper season for cultivation. Example po dito is um, example sasabihin ng mga agronomist if, if ganito ang crops mo, ang crop na gusto mong itanim, anong better season or best season kapag maganda siyang itanim. Ganun po. Kung, for example, corn ang itatanim, anong magandang season para itanim siya para maganda yung kakalabasan. Yan po, identification of proper season for cultivation. 
Next, we have proper methods of cultivation. Dito po yung mga improved practices. Yung mas i-develop po yung mga nakagawian ng mga farmers natin. Ayan, magbibigay po sila ng mga innovative ideas on how to cultivate uh, our land or soil po na gagamitin for uh, field crops. And then next, we have the development of vast knowledge about time, method, quantity of fertilizer, and herbicide application. Dito po, since agronomy is focused on the development, research, and innovative ideas, dito naman po is they will determine kung gaano kadaming fertilizer, anong herbicide yung mga dapat gamitin para mas maganda po yung outcome ng mga crops. And next, we have new practices developed for higher productivity. Sabi ko nga po kanina, as I mentioned earlier na uh, agronomist po is they are conducting different developments on how to increase the crop production po. And then advancement of knowledge and better understanding of plant environment. Dito po, they are not just focused on plant environment. Pwede rin pong advancement in terms of technologies po or mga machines na ginagamit natin si, sa uh, crops natin like the implements and equipments po natin. And we have the maintaining ecological balance. Of course, dito po is they are focused not only in the development but also po sa ecological balance natin not to poison the land and not to harm our environment. So yun lang po yung anim. Ulitin ko po is the identification of proper season for cultivation, proper methods of cultivation, development of vast knowledge about time, method, quantity of fertilizer and herbicide application, um, new practices developed for higher producti productivity, advancement of knowledge and better understanding of plant environment, and lastly, maintaining ecological balance. So, may question po ba about scope of agronomy? Wala. Oh, sige po, proceed po. Proceed po tayo. So, we are done with uh, nature of agronomy, scope of agronomy. Ngayon po, proceed tayo sa last, which is the significant or significance of agronomy agriculture in the Philippines. Short uh, discussion lang po talaga to kasi introduction lang po siya. Um, nung po kasing tinignan ko talaga, baka matouch po kasi yung ibang lesson since sa introduction, covered po niya lahat. Kaya may minimize ko po yung uh, report ko. Pina-ikli ko po siya para mas maintindihan po natin lahat. Okay po, so let's proceed with significance of agriculture agronomy in the Philippines. So these are the importance of Philippine agriculture according to CARRD of the Philippines or the Center of Agrarian Reform and Rural, rural Development. Sorry po. Okay, so first significant po is we have food in terms of food. This is po as of 2017 po. No? As of 2017. So we have the top exports and top imports. Familiar naman po tayo sa difference between export and imports po, ano? So, as of 2017, ang export, major exports po natin na nagtap po sa market is we have the coconut oil, which is 42% po ng uh, production natin sa coconut oil in the Philippines is napunta po sa Netherlands. And then Japan, we have 35% yung banana naman po. And then pineapple sa USA, which is 34%. And top imports naman po natin, ang um, top three 
na major po na in-imports natin noong 2017 is the cereals, wheat, na ang major supplier po natin sa tatlong yun is the USA. Yung milk, ang pinakamataas po na percentage is 73% which is yung soybean oil po natin. So yun lang po. And parang additional info na lang din po yan. So first significant is we have food. Next, opportunity or employment. Ayan. So as of 2017 pa rin po ito, no? As of 2017, there are 10.26 million farmers. Imagine, ang dami po nila. Kasi ano po tayo eh, um, agricultural land. So majority po or mostly na livelihood po dito sa atin is um, sa farm. Yan po. And 77% of, uh, of them are male and 22% are female. Ayan po. So, sa total employment po in the Philippines, 25% po doon ang mga farmers natin. Ayan. Imagine po, di ba? Ang dami po. And um, ang sad part lang po natin dito is in terms of employment, yes po, madami po tayong farmers. Pero usually, sila din po yung parang mas kung sino po yung nagpo-produce ng mga food supply natin. Sila po yung nasa, um, according po kasi dun sa nabasa ko, nasa poverty line natin. Maliban na lang po kung yung talagang mga farmers na big, ano po, big uh, farm ang meron sila. Pero alam naman po natin na in reality na yung mga farmers po natin is isa po sila sa mga nahihirapan dito po sa country natin. Lalo na bumababa po yung price ng um, bigas. Di po ba? Ayan. So later on po, i-discuss ni Sir Wenz yung mga problems po na may encounter natin sa agriculture. Ayan po. So after um, food and then we have the opportunity or employment Next po is the development. Ayan po. So, ang ayan po, ang um, share ng agriculture sa GDP po ng Philippines or the gross domestic <coughs> product is 8.9% uh, and ang budget po ng Department of Agriculture natin sa Philippines is we have 119.70 billion. Hopefully po is uh, na-distribute po yan ng, or nabigay po yan ng uh, maayos. Diba? And ang expenditure lang po niya is 3.58% lang po yun. Diba? Parang ang liit po siya. Ang liit po ng inaalat nilang budget for agriculture. And as of 2017 po, tumaas yung performance, uh, production performance ng palay, which is 9.36%. Sa corn naman po is 9.64%. Sugar cane, 30%. And coconut, almost 2%. Kasi ito po yung major product po na meron tayo dito sa Philippines. Yung palay, corn, coconut, and sugar cane. Ayan. So, dito po, pinakita ko lang din po additional information na pinapakita dito na parang ang liit po ng budget for um, agriculture. And in line with this po, gusto kong i-quote yung sinabi ni Bill Gates. Si Bill Gates po kasi isa sa foundation niya, nakasama po yung wife niya is tinutulungan po nila yung farmers mga farmers. Sabi niya po is, I have seen firsthand that agricultural science has enormous potential to increase the yields of small farmers and lift them out of hunger and poverty. Sabi ko nga po earlier na ang sad part lang po is ang being farmer is, di ba, ang farmer po is, is not an easy job. Sabi nga nila, um, ang magtanim ay hindi biro. Di ba po? Pero 
ang sad part is farmers sila po yung parang nasa poverty line po natin. And another quote po na meron tayo, sabi niya dyan, Investment in agriculture are the best weapon against hunger and poverty. And they have made life better for billions of people. Ang goal po kasi ni Bill Gates, according po dun sa article niya, na once we invest daw po in agriculture, there is a high possibility na malif not just only our farmers, but also others who are hungry and in poverty line. And since sabi ko nga dun sa po na na-report ko earlier, three point something lang po yung ano nila, yung expenditure ng Philippine government sa agriculture. Parang ang liit po na hindi siya, hindi po siya ganun na naka-priority. Kumbaga. And ang ano po kasi, um, other concern po ng agriculture, ang nangyari po kasi, they are converting agricultural land into uh, yung iba po, golf course, o kaya residential subdivision, industrial park, or resort. Kaya, sana po, uh, hopefully, mabigyan po ng um, magandang uh, opportunity yung agriculture natin dito sa Philippines. And also, gusto ko lang din pong i-add na uh, according din po dun sa module natin, mababasa nyo rin po doon na uh, ang goal po ang goal po ng Philippine government is to make, um, kasi po we are known as agricultural country, they are targeting na maging industrialized country po tayo as noong 2000. Pero after two decades, meron po bang parang naging industrialized? Parang yan po. Ano? So we are ho hoping for the best na lang po. Diba? And Yan lang po yung aking report for this morning. I hope po eh marami po kayong natutunan. And meron po ba kayong questions or clarifications regarding my report? Or may additional information po kayo na meron po kayong gustong i-add? Okay, so... Is that all, Ma'am Kenzie? Yes, yes po, Ma'am. Oh, thank you so much and uh, for that very good presentation. Brief but 